If you think electric cars are new or wimpy, you'd be wrong on both counts. Electric cars started about the time gasoline ones did. New ones, like those from Tesla, are astonishingly fast and strong. The electric car's torque is thrilling. The Model S, with the most batteries, recently went from 0 to 60 mph in 2.3 seconds, making it the fastest production car in the world. The larger Model X, a sort of sleek SUV, can tow 5,000 pounds. The new Roadster is apparently able to break the world 060 miles per hour record, base model doing that in 1.9 seconds, 0 100 miles per hour record, capable of 4.2 seconds, and quarter mile record, capable of 8.8 .8 seconds. There is a more powerful option coming as well. We got to ride in Brandon's large, white Model X, and though it is strong beyond elegant, he kept it well below the 165 miles per hour top speed. Like many Teslas, his is already equipped with the cameras and radar needed to easily upgrade it to a self-driving car. Of the thousands of other cars on the road, we saw only a few electrics. Most are like my old Taurus V6, churning out various pollutants, like the carbon dioxide, that is forcing global warming. Worldwide, such old technologies are draining our money, while causing costly ecological disasters. We need to change to electrics quickly, Tesla is leading the way. After four hours of driving, we stopped and stretched at a Tesla supercharger site, where we chatted with other Tesla owners. A 440 volt full charge to a depleted battery takes about an hour, time enough to get some food. Brandon pays nothing for the charge, but new purchasers of Teslas will get only a limited amount of free charge, unless they are Model S or Model X buyers using a referral credit. Tesla won't profit from the future charging, but they will use the income to create new charging stations. Also, they have announced all of their charging stations will eventually be powered by clean renewable energy sources like solar. How much will driving cost? About $15 to go from San Francisco to LA, or about $120 to go from LA to New York City. Home charging costs even less.